So red light is a show about three women that all three come from totally different social and economic backgrounds and they all three need to liberate themselves. So red light takes place in the arena of the prostitution and the human trafficking, but it also goes to these other women that live in other worlds. And my character is a very elite, very famous opera singer, successful. She has a really beautiful marriage and it looks like she has everything that you would ever want, but the problem is she's obsessed with getting pregnant. It, she didn't succeed and she feels like as she can have all the money in the world, all the fame in the world, but as long as she doesn't bear a child, she's not a real woman. That's her prison that she lives in. And so all these three women, the sex worker, the opera singer, the detective, they all struggle with that. So the detective, she has a family, she has children, she has everything, you know, she has a career, but she wants to escape. She has fantasies of, of going to get a pack of cigarettes and never returning. And that is something we have seen men do all the time in movies, all the time in books. And here, even whilst writing, we felt the taboo of that. Prostitution, of course, uh, Amsterdam has this unique uh, red light district, right? So, so in Belgium and Holland, we have sort of legalized prostitution. But for me, when I was young, I grew up thinking my parents were extreme hippies, radical hippies, and they raised me th like, well, the red light district is progressive. It's freedom. It's the happy hooker. It's, you know, and then, of course, slowly you start to find out that that is not the whole truth. You know, and there's human trafficking going on. And it's a very gray area. If you talk to some of these sex workers that are actually very convinced and telling you like, no, I'm free and who are you to judge me? And so who are you then to say, no, but you are forced. So these mechanisms are super complex.